So for those of you that haven't got a Twitter account or haven't seen my community post, obviously I didn't do a review after the game and I haven't done a player ratings video for the Newcastle game. I never even ended up making it to the game. Um, had a phone call, had a little bit of bad news. Quite sad news really, nothing major, but it stopped me from uh, going to work that day and it stopped me going to the game and it stopped me going to work yesterday as well. So yeah, um, all in all, it weren't great, but I thought I'd post a little video out there just to let you guys know um, the situation, the ones that haven't seen my Twitter, the ones that have, big up yourselves for all the nice comments, same with the community post on my YouTube, really, really rate the comments, thank you very much. Um, it is what it is, family come first, so unfortunately I missed the game. And the amount of times this season something has happened which has led to me not being able to go to a game has just been unbelievable. Um, I think it was Watford at home, I ended up getting sat in traffic, didn't move for about three hours, didn't even make it back home until about 20 minutes after kickoff for that game. And I was about five miles from my house, literally sat still for about three hours. Um, other games this season I've missed due to other stupid stuff as well, but I thought I'd put this little video out there just to say, look, I am about, um, it wasn't intentional, it was out of my hands, it was something I couldn't control. I did end up watching the game. Um, I thought the game was really good actually. Newcastle were poor, really, really poor. Um, they came for a nil-nil and um, even when we scored, they didn't really want to try and cross halfway. So we looked like absolute world beaters against them on Monday night because they were, they were tragic. I feel sorry for all their fans that travelled all the way from Newcastle. I've done that drive myself. I've done it in September um, for the away game. And it's not an easy drive. And if you're on the um, coach, the away coach, it's going to take longer than it is going in a car. So all them Newcastle fans that got home at half four, five, six in the morning, big up every single one of them because they, they're, the, they're the proper fans of the Premier League. You know, it's all well and good for us to live around the corner. But, you know, when you're going four, five, six hour drives on a Monday night at eight o'clock kickoff, mate, relentless. I've done it before to Swansea, got back in at half three quarters, four in the morning, and had to get up at seven in the morning. So big up every single one of them. But um, I'll quickly do a, a review of the game. Don't forget, stick a thumbs up on the video, subscribe if you're new as well. Big up all the love on this channel, nearly on 9,300 subs as well. So thank you very much for all of that. Um, I thought the game was, it was quite mad really, because we could have been five, six up, literally. But the referee was just a joke, absolute joke. Anthony Taylor should never referee another Premier League game. We see um, over the years, Anthony Taylor try and mug Arsenal off. We all remember the Aston Villa game at the um, Emirates. And yeah, since then, he's not been a great referee for us. Yes, we won the game, but we had two perfectly good goals disallowed. Um, I thought Aaron Ramsey was man of the match. Just my choice. I know they gave it to uh, Mesut Ozil, who, by the way, I thought played really well as well. But when Newcastle are going to sit that deep and when they're not going to even try and press you and they're just going to let you dictate play and they're going to let you have the ball, you're always going to look good. So... You know, it was a, a case for Newcastle of, oh, let's just keep it as low as possible rather than trying to come out and trying to score a goal to get back into the game. But the longer the game went on, the more nervous I was getting because it was a case of, you know, we ain't really created loads of chances, but we've had Aaron Ramsey's first goal that was disallowed. Don't know why. Ramsey then scored a nice little finish for the second goal. Great play from Grendozi, by the way, who had a part to play in both goals. I've seen people saying that he was playing poorly. I don't know what game they were watching. I thought he was pretty good, to be honest with you. Um, yes, he gave the ball away a few times in key areas, but he never hides. And that's what I want from the players. I don't want them to hide. I don't want them to go into their shell and just go through the motions and let the game pass them by. And I don't think he did that. And... Um, the second goal, wow. You know, we brought, we brought um, a Bamiang on and what a one-two. I, I I'm not sure whether Lacazette meant the first pass to a Bamiang, but what a header and what a finish. And ultimately, we end up winning the game 2-0. Lacazette gets another goal disallowed. I don't know why. Again, the goalkeeper punches it into the goal. I don't know why that was disallowed. And like I said, Anthony Taylor tried everything in his power to try and stop us 
from getting a free four or five goal lead. And it was quite embarrassing to watch. Shout out to um, Monreal. I thought he was good. Socrates again. We know what we're getting with Socrates. Absolute warrior of a footballer. Might not be the best technically. Might not be the most gifted footballer. Um, obviously, we all see the posts from Aubameyang mugging off uh, Mustafi with that cross that's probably still floating around in um, space somewhere. But all in all, I thought it was, it was a comfortable game. I was never sitting there thinking, oh no, Newcastle are going to score. Um, last night, I watched Man United against Wolves. And we're in trouble when we go to Wolves. They are a good, good team. They set up so well that when they've not got the ball, they get back into a position where they cut the passing avenues off. But then as soon as they nick the ball and it's a turnover, bang, they're gone. They are gone. And they're so quick and so technically gifted. And Man United couldn't cope. And as soon as Ashley Young got sent off, you knew it was going to be game over. It was just a matter of time. Um, they had a couple of other chances as well where they shanked the bar. Um, Tottenham, as I'm recording this, Tottenham are 1-0 up. Um, Human Song has put on 1-0 up in their new stadium. So I'm sure the media will be having, uh, having a little love fest over that about, oh, Tottenham are amazing. Yeah, they're great. It's going to be a fortress, blah, blah, blah. Um, it is what it is. Listen, they ain't as good as the media hype and we're not as bad as the media say we are. And as it stands, it's in our hands. We've got Everton on Sunday and that is massive for us. Everton have played well the last couple of games. And so have we. Let's be real. Uh, Mkhitaryan came off the bench the other night as well. And I thought he'd done really well when he came on. I don't think Iwobi had one of his best games. Um, I don't think he really got into it. There was some nice little play patterns of play that he'd done. But for me, the standout three players of the night were um, Ramsey, man of the match. And I thought Lacazette close by. And then Meza Ozil just behind him. I thought they were the best three players and then Nacho Monreal and Socrates. So all in all, we've done our job. We've got two more home games. I expect us to win both of them. I fully expect us to beat Everton on Sunday. And I'm really looking forward to the game. Like I said, sorry I didn't put out a video. Um, I couldn't do that genuinely. Um, if I could, I would have. Obviously, I appreciate you guys um, watching my stuff, liking my stuff and, and sharing my stuff as well. So, and again, I didn't put a player ratings video out for the same reasons, but I thought I'd just drop something now because obviously it'd be nearly a whole week before I put out another video. So I thought I'd put something out there, just let you guys know the situation for the ones that haven't seen it on Twitter when I've tweeted stuff. Um, I had two days off of social media, full stop, lockdown. I come back and um, Arsenal were third, Man United, well, Ollie's crushed the motor and um, East London was trending. <laughs> yeah, go check that out. If you, if you know what that's about, hit me up in the comments. <laughs> Say East London, yeah? Anyway, don't forget, subscribe, like, share. Share my content around. Leave your comments down there. Let me know your thoughts on the game. I'd really like to hear what you guys are saying about the game as well. Um, like I said, I thought it was comfortable. I thought Newcastle was shocking. They were trying to keep the goal difference down and it was a walk in the park. But one stat I did see before I wrap this up was... Um, that was our fewest amount of shots on goal at the Emirates in any game this season. So make of that what you will. But we roll on to Everton um, on Sunday. Man United haven't got a game because of the FA Cup. I don't think Chelsea have got a game. And I'm pretty sure Tottenham ain't got a game because they're playing tonight as well. So we've got a game in hand on these teams. And as far as I was aware, Chelsea are winning, although I haven't checked that score. But we've got a game in hand on these teams and we have just got to keep winning games. Keep grinding, keep going, and hopefully we get in that top four. Look, at the end of the day, start of the season, I said if we finish fifth and less than 37 points behind the leaders, then yeah, happy days. But the fact that we're now in that top four, I now want us to finish there. It'd be nice to get back in the Champions League. Um, not that I think that we'll ever win it. I think we've got more chance of winning the Europa League than anything else, but... It would be nice to get back in the Champions League. It might just reunite the fans a little bit more, get the crowd on side. Obviously, we can attract maybe better players, bigger budget, etc., etc. But it is what it is. Anyway, I'm rambling on. I'm going to get myself out of here. Don't forget, like I said, subscribe, like, share. Big up all the people that uh, posted on my community post and my Twitter. Thank you very much. Really appreciate the nice comments. Until my preview for the Everton game, which will be on Saturday night, 9 o'clock. I'm out of here. Latest peeps.